decided to poach some soft, out-of-season fruits. But that's the way the world is these days. You can get fruit from all over the world at any time of the year. So I've put some nectarines and some plums and some apricots in some lemon juice, cinnamon and sugar and just poach them very lightly for about five minutes and then allow them to cool. Then, because this is a really economical... Actually, this is like a winter pudding. It's like a roasted summer pudding. I've buttered a load of white sliced bread, which I'm going to pop round this elegant little bowl, which is a Christmas pudding bowl, in fact. And in fact, by definition, this is also a Christmas pudding because it's being eaten at Christmas. So it's Christmas pudding. <laughs> and you push this really well down so the, the bread forms a complete seal. Again, this isn't the sort of thing you want to be doing on Christmas morning because your hands are all covered in, you know, you can't even open your presents when your hands are covered in butter. Never mind hold a glass. Could easily slip out. Right, now press all that down like that. Then we'll fill it with this wonderful fruit, straining off most of the liquid because we're going to save the liquid for sauce on the day, along with our brandy butter. I thought this was rather a rather cheery kind of a dish, you know. Christmas time seems to be a bit black, doesn't it? Christmas puddings are black, Christmas cakes are black. And if my luck stays with me as usual, my turkey will be black. <laughs> Although that's a terrible thing, I have to say. The number of times I've had Christmas lunch with people who really haven't cooked their turkey. It comes out kind of white and steamed, not very nice. Right, then we cover the whole thing with slices of buttered sliced bread and then finally cover the whole thing with a little bit more butter and squeeze it right down so the whole pudding is sealed with bread and butter. Now before I actually bake this, I'm going to put it in the fridge to let all the juices from the fruit soak into the bread and then tomorrow morning, just before or during the time our guests arrive, I'll pop it into the oven and bake it.